up, everyone? This is Dark Beyond Lewis. Happy Saturday. And, and, all right. I was watching something else. And, you know what, something. And I was watching the Yankees game. Oh, yeah. I was watching the Yankees game. Then they crushed five home runs again. They played crazy. Then Torre and Gerani's team. Boone's team wanted to get to the fight. That's why. And I watched late and I watched the game and I was past Yankee highlights. Oh yeah! That one thing that excites me more than this team, bitch! Because I have been a Mets fan since 2006, and they see that they want to get to a fight with Willie. And after that, when I was a Yankee fan in 2007, I liked both of them in the past when they played fight. And this is what I want to say for, for, for the Mets. Why Louis Rojas and you call Bob still a manager and a hitting coach of this team? Why are they still there? You have a day away to fucking fire that bitch! This is why my fan base... I will lock that door again. Lady always fucking annoy me. After one fucking week, she wanna come to fucking stay. Like, go fucking work. Sorry, guys. <laughs> She's a fucking old lady. Keep checking on me. Every time she go to work next week, and after that, she keeps coming here for no reason. Like, go work every day. And every Saturday. And this is why this this team keep making this. And now if they want to keep making this, that's why. Now what's that? They grow into their 36 double play. That's why. This is actually why. You know what? Let me tell you something right now. Somebody's got to change with this Mets team. This team. It's simple. It's simple. Fucking 
Say it going. You fucking say it in your fucking ass. And fucking no York Pittsburgh Florida. And you don't give a fuck about this team. You don't give a flying fuck about this team. I don't give a fucking mom and my dad. I to hear this. I want a fucking warning. Look, yeah. I don't want to hear your voice no more. I think my voice is like Get out of here. Who you talking to? Not you. Well, I, don't, I said, you hear what I said? Hello? Don't make me get the knife to open the door. I could jump on you like a snake. Oh, I will open it for two minutes. Give me a minute. Well, I don't Give me two minutes, please. I don't want to hear your voice. I don't know why they keep hearing this. Like, go to your fucking bedrooms. Fuck this fucking family, bro. Fuck them. They don't know. They go back to your fucking country. This is not your fucking America. You have fucking farted out of all of them, guys. Hell shit. Sorry, guys. Clean. Why we go back? Stay going. You fucking sit in your fucking ass. And fucking so why you don't give a fuck about this team. You don't give a flying fuck about this team. I don't care no can I hear this. I want a warning. You simply don't give a fuck about this team. You are fucking a solid out fucking crowd. Boy, this team. And you know what, Mets fans? I will play Ned Doubleday Jr. The guy who died, who was a great guy. Win the World Series. Long time ago, it might fall. But let me go back to to Luis Rojas and Cloudball, man. Thursday was an off day. They were supposed to fire one of them. And when they keep firing people, this is my point. This is exactly why this is not my point. The Mets don't do what happened this year. They don't want to play. They don't want to be in the playoffs. They just getting unlucky. You're not a Philly kick our ass again. Put me in the game and I should kick Philly's ass, bitch. Game. Bro, I was supposed to say a Mets game was going to play good when I'm there. Bro, I'm not going. Why am I fucking spend? My hard work fucking money to go watch a fucking team that's playing like garbage. Because this is my problem. This is my fucking problem. That this fucking team play like fucking garbage. Now I'm going to the video. Give me a minute.
as Mets fans, give me one minute, okay? Five minutes. Let's hear. Mets, we'll look at the standings and also check out what's going on in baseball right down the line. And we'll be back with Nelson Doubleday in just a moment, right after this commercial message. And our special guest on this special edition of Kinder's Corner is Nelson Doubleday. Nelson Doubleday bought the ball club five years ago. And Nelson, here you are in a pennant race, and uh, in only five years, that's really amazing. Well, it is, and it's a great tribute to Frank and Al Harris and Joe McElvain and Lou Gorman who have started all uh, for what they've accomplished over these five years. They really have done a job, and of course the Mets are four games out. Are you here for moral support? I'm here because we have some baseball meetings to, starting tonight, and uh, watching the ball team is much more fun than sitting at a desk. Well, you've been a baseball fan all your life, there's no doubt about that, and also a sports fan. But uh, here we are, five years that you've owned the ball club, an independent race, and of course the Mets are really... Uh, back to the wall right at this moment, four games down to the St. Louis Cardinals who are playing outstanding baseball. Have you gotten to the point where you're looking toward next year? Well, we're always looking towards next year. We're at a point right now where uh, we can't really do much. It's whether a ball bounces one way or whether somebody wins or somebody loses. There isn't much you can do. It just happens day to day. But you see? Looking forward. And, uh, you see? The, the thing I'm proudest of is that we promised the fans in uh, New York that we were going to make the team competitive. And I think we fulfilled that, that promise. We certainly have done that. Last year, 90 victories. And here this year, so far, 92 victories. And uh, certainly in a pennant race. And the fans certainly have to be happy with the way this ball club has been put together. Of course, you've had had some outstanding baseball players. Dwight Gooden would be the first one you think of. Also, Daryl Strawberry. That's true. And, and uh, you, again, you got to go back to Frank. And this is what we're fucking up at. Found these uh, rookies and they're more. This is what we're fucking up at. The Double A Awards. We've got a pretty good crew of rookies in the minor leagues, and uh, that's a real tribute to Frank and his, his staff. Mr. Doubleday, what about uh, the future of baseball? The uh, baseball strike was settled. Uh, with just two days of uh, baseball non-action, and here we are looking at baseball down the line, and you have uh, a game that's probably at its peak right now in the history of the game. Well, I think that's true, and I think we have more interest in baseball this summer than we've ever had before, and I think it was very important that we all settle that strike as fast as we did. And I, my hat goes off to the Lee uh, McPhail, who really did all the work for it, and uh, I think it's important. I think the future of baseball is uh, in good hands right now. I think we are addressing ourselves to uh, some cost control problems and uh, really running it as a business at the way it should be run. And I think baseball has a very bright future. And of course, there's always that dark cloud that's looming over Amen, there. Right? That's and, uh, true. The, uh, the cloud of uh, dope addiction and that sort of thing, that's got to be a problem. It has to be resolved. Oh, it does. And, and uh, I think we'll see that uh, the Players Association, the players and the ownership and the management of baseball will all get together and find a way to lick it. It has to be beaten. We have to get the drugs out of baseball. We're talking to Mr. Doubleday, the... You see? You see? You see? You see, Mets fans? You see this crap? Same here. Same here. You see that, Mets fans? You see that? See? That's what you should be doing, Steve Cohen. 
That's what you should be doing. This is exactly why you, you stay in your fucking mansion. And when you stay in your fucking mansion, you don't give a shit. This is exactly why. You know exactly why. All day, you stay in your mansion and don't do nothing. You care about the dollar dollar bills. You care about shit to Francisco Lindor. That's the problem. Put Brandon Dury, you and Scott Zah. You gotta put Brandon Dury on this Monday. You got to, please. Brandon Dury has to come back because I don't see him in the game. Put Brandon fucking Dury in his game! Put J.D. Davis to play. Don't put McNeil. Put Spiff in a fucking game. Put everything, Rojas. And teach your team how to fucking hit. And you see, that's what you should be doing, Steve Cohen. You fucking care about the dollar dollar bills. You fucking want to rush Chiefs and don't do shit. And you know what? You don't fucking do it. Because all day, you don't give about shit. And this is after why. And one more thing. That double day Joy care about his heart, his soul, his God, his Jesus, his system, his prayers, his career, everything as a Met owner, his World Series champion, his fighting, his, win his winning, not losing, and everything. That's what you should be doing, Steve Owen. That's what you should be doing. You out of here. I'm out of this body. I don't want to hear your voice. Shh, fuck on should have been doing. That's why. Because you sit in your mansion all day and after all day you don't give a shit. I'm fucking real. Get it together, Mets. You gotta watch this video, Mets 21288 New York Blackland. Believe me, you gotta watch this shit. Because I put it in this video, now it's gonna be crazy. I'm done. Runs over. I have the video. Y'all, you guys gonna watch it, what happened, and more. That's it. And I'm done. That's it for this video, guys. The video is in, is in the phone. I hope I see you later when I'm gonna make another mess for it. Badly do, badly do, badly do.